Hi everyone, I'm Wani, Deputy Editor at Cephew.com. I'm back again with another Eating Up vlog. Today, I'm at Home Team NS Balestier and we are visiting Indulge Teppanyaki and Grill House. Fun fact, they started off as a coffee shop stall and now they have four outlets in Singapore in total. But this one is their newest one, uh, only two months old and, the one, and this one stands out for its teppanyaki grill sets. So let's check it out. So all the food has arrived and we have a good selection of dishes to get the very best idea of what the menu is like. So we're going to start out here with the chicken chop mala pasta and I've been told that they make their sauce here from scratch. It looks uh, spicy with a little chilli bits on it. Actually, it's not exceedingly spicy. I get the aroma of the chilli more than actually the spicy kick of the chilli which is quite nice because you can appreciate the dish a lot more rather than just have it numb your tongue and if you're wondering about whether the peppercorn um, flavour is really there it is and there's also just a very mild hint of uh, numbing sensation which you would expect from a mala sauce anyway So the next one I'm going to try is the white clam hebihiam pasta It's peppered with little bits of hebihiam it's actually smelling really good. I'm going to take a smaller bite because I took too much just now. There's almost like a, a pungent but pleasantly pungent aroma. The white clam is actually pretty sweet and there's that uh, like depth of savouriness from the heavy yam. Very strong prawn paste flavour. I'm not sure if it's the spice from this or the combination of the previous pasta and this but now my tongue is a little bit on fire Hi! <laughs> Sorry uh, What cut of beef is this? What cut of uh, beef is this? Uh, this one ah? Yes It's strip loin Strip loin Is it the Australian strip loin? Yes Okay Alright, okay, yes. thank you So the next dish that we have here is one of the Indout signature mains and this is the Australian strip loin I would say it's a good medium, a good generous amount of the uh, brown sauce. Oh, that is really tender, very soft. Oh, it's very good. Eh? Huh? Yeah. So as I mentioned earlier, we have specialty here is a takoyaki set, and over here we have a seafood one that comes on a hot plate like this and a serving, actually a rather uh, generous serving of rice and a fried egg on top. I don't know where to start, but okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the prawns. As you can tell, the prawn is still really hot. So the hot plate here comes sizzling, so be sure to uh, blow a little on your food before consuming it. It's quite peppery, a bit of smokiness, and the sauce is a little bit on the sweeter side, so it's like a sweet pepper sauce. But you can taste how plump and fresh the prawn is actually, so it's quite enjoyable. And there's actually quite enough ingredients for like one person to be sufficiently full. So this is really a good, like, wholesome meal, if I should say. So we have here next the fried cutlet rice, which is a heavy, hefty bowl of rice and there's a fried chicken cutlet um, baby tomatoes, corn, edamame and a runny egg Look at that So there's also a little bit of a drizzle of uh, cheese you know, for the extra indulgence Mmm Even with the cheese and the runny egg I can still taste or I can still feel how crunchy the chicken cutlet is it isn't soggy at all and I like the touch of like edamame as well it adds an element of like crunchiness in addition to the chicken cutlet 
And now it's burger time! Okay, I finally managed to get a, a big, quite a big piece of burger. So, on the first cut that I made, I noticed a, quite a strong aroma of truffle oil. I'm not sure if they use it, but it's quite distinct. There's plenty of mushrooms, there's lettuce, there's uh, tomatoes, and of course, a rather thick layer of beef patty. Let's try it. It's so juicy. And I appreciate that there's not an overwhelming amount of like sauce or dressing in the burger, so I can taste all the meat, all its natural juices. Even the presence of what I assume was truffle oil, right, doesn't take away from the flavour of the beef, the mushroom and the bun. It's so soft. It's so good. So I've just left Indulge Teppanyaki and Grill House and I am so full. The, the items that I enjoyed really the most were actually all their meats, so like their strip loin and the beef burger. But of course, you have to try their teppanyaki grill sets because that is the only uh, specialty thing that they have here. Or not the only one obviously, but it is what makes them unique from all the other indulge outlets. So like I said, they have four in total, but this one has a slightly different menu. And it's open to public, even though they're housed in the Home Team NS Ballastia building. So come check this out, bring your family, make a meal out of it, make a trip out of it, and come down here. This is Wani, signing off from uh, another Eating Out vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!